Hey guys, today I'm going to be making a video to show you how to control your PC using your Xbox One controller, and this also works with an Xbox One controller with a chat pad. So let's get started. I've created a Joy2 key file, which you'll be able to download in the description, with three separate profiles, which makes it kind of unique from other joystick control settings for PC. Um, what it's going to do is going to let you control the speed of the mouse cursor and the scroll wheel on the fly and also find different functions to the same buttons depending on which bumper you're holding. So let's get into the controls of this. You can see this is the standard layout. If you're not holding any modifying buttons which is left bumper or right bumper, your B button is going to be your right click and X is going to be left click so you got left click on the left side right click on the right side and then see A and Y do nothing in the default mode and also the triggers are bind to the clicking button so left trigger to left click right trigger to right click and then I've got enter and escape assigned to the back buttons and start buttons start being enter back being escape and then the left stick is bind to the mouse and the right stick is bind to the scroll wheel so this is gonna let you scroll up and down on web pages like this and then the d-pad is up and down and zoom in and out and then we've got go back and forward on left and right so that's pretty standard stuff you can move the mouse I'm controlling with the controller now and you see I can select things and I can right click whoops but let's see what happens when you hold right bumper it's gonna turn it into slow select mode is what I call it so when you hold right bumper, your mouse is going to slow down significantly. Let's see the difference. So this is slow mode, and this is standard mode. As well as scrolling, I'll show you, is really a lot slower. you got to hold it for a second for it to even move. And this is standard scrolling when you're trying to move through a web page fast. Or if you want to slow it down so you can read each line as you go. But this also activates what I call select mode and it binds functions to the A and the Y buttons. See A being control A and Y being control X. So I can go in here and I can press A to select everything and Y to delete it. So do that so I can use that as an example. But you know, so basically it slows everything down. So that you can do more precise things like resize this window when you have to get the very edge. Sometimes it's still hard the sacrifices you make when you control it with a controller. But see I can resize the window in slow mode or I can continue holding the X button and let go and be resizing in fast mode. But see when you're in fast mode it's kind of hard to get to that window to resize it. Just can't quite line my mouse up. It's too fast. That's why there's slow mode. Alright and then let's see what happens when you hold left bumper which is going to activate fast slash copy mode. So let's go to the next one. This one is going to make your mouse significantly faster, as well as the scrolling. Scrolling happens much quicker in this mode. So this is going to be when you say, I have two monitors, for example, and it can be a pain to scroll all the way to the side, so sometimes it's good to have it just go a lot faster. And if this isn't fast enough for you, you can actually change it using the script I provide in the description. But let's go over what's different between fast copy mode and standard mode. So I call it copy mode because I've um, assigned control C and control V to A and Y so you can actually select these things and if I hold left bumper and press A I can copy those things and if I press Y I can paste them so you can't actually tell what I'm doing here because it's all the same. But there you go, copy and paste in case you need it. But the m most useful feature is definitely just being able to go faster. I'm sure you're not going to be doing any detailed computing with your controller. But with that out of the way, let's take a look at the Joy to Key file so you guys can get more acquainted with it. Now when you download my script, this profile, Xbox controller, you're going to go to File, and then you're going to open a file from File Explorer, click that, and then navigate to where you've downloaded joy to key and my profile and then it's just going to work you might also you might also have to configure the joysticks 
and set it to your Xbox controller. But there's plenty of videos on how to set up Joyji Key. I'm not going to go into much detail. It's a pretty easy program to figure out. So see here, you can see my functions. This is joystick one, which means no button is being held down. How I switch the profiles is see button four and five, which are left bumper and right bumper. I have set to a special function, which is shift function. So as long as this key is held down, it switches to joystick two, which has a which has largely the same con configuration, except I've modified the values so you can see the speed for goes from 25 to 35 for fast mode and also button 1 and button 4 gain functions whereas they're disabled in joystick 1 and it's the same thing for joystick 3 and you could take this a step further where you can hold both of the buttons to activate a fourth joystick but that's just get a little convoluted this is easy to remember and it's basically everything you need alright without I guess that's it Thanks for watching, and if this is a cool script and you liked it, please like the video. Thanks for watching.